Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video and yes, I am not dead, I know I haven't made a video for a while, some of you messaged and I've uh, been asking on the videos what have I been up to, well I haven't made anything on car, my videos on my car, van, anything like that for quite a while now and that's mainly because I've been a little bit distracted with what's going on, you can see in the background by you. Now obviously you can see I've got a steering wheel, that's uh, a car game which I'll tell them more about in a minute. So yeah, I've been playing this and setting up a PC, etc. Well, I say me, it was actually a row one, or you've seen on the videos before, I'll tell about in a minute. I'm including it on this channel because it is car related and I'm pretty sure that some of you are into computers and I'm pretty sure that some of you probably play car games. So let me show you what you've got. Well, let me show you what I've got. <laughs> you tell me what you've got as well. <laughs> I'll show you what I've got um, PC wise because like I say, some of you might be into this kind of stuff and understand it. Personally, I only understand a tiny amount of it, thanks to the help I've had from Rowan. But he put all this together, my PC here. So I'm going to cut to a quick clip where he'll explain what specs are in that computer. And I'll come back and I'll show you all I got and the plans because we're going to go better than what you actually see here. Right, so what have we got then to have my gaming computer up and going, Row? Well, basically, very similar to the PC I've built. And... Um, he's decided to go with uh, Intel 9600. Well, I, I didn't decide. You kind of browbeated me into it because I am going to clear what I'm doing. 9600K because he wants the fastest cores possible um, for gaming, but also six core. So we've got a couple of extra cores for when he's doing some video editing. Um, some people would probably say go with the Ryzen, but um, for what Steve wanted it for, I feel like that's the better choice. Motherboard. Um, it's the same as what I've got again, Z390A Pro motherboard. Um, we've got 16 gigabytes of 3000 megahertz RAM. Then I can upgrade, I'll stick another 16 in when I want to spend a bit more money, can't I? Yeah, and keep going and all the way up to this board will handle 128 gig eventually. Um, so we've got a half a terabyte NVMe M.2 SSD, should make his boot up times really fast. And then he's got uh, the same cooler I've got. And then uh, an EVGA 600 watt power supply, which is basically the cheapest one that's not going to blow up and catch on fire. I did one. I did want a pretty cheap setup, but a good setup. Yeah, they're pulling teeth. You yeah. wanted. You only had a budget of about ten pound to start with. Yeah. And so we done all this for twenty quid. Yeah. And then I'm having a graphics card of the old computer. Yeah. So Steve's only running 1080p monitor when he's doing his gaming. So he's going to have my GTX 970 which would be adequate for the games he wants to play. And uh, I've got a 4K monitor, so uh, I should really have a card that's a lot more powerful than that. So I've used the opportunity to buy a better one. So you ripped me off on uh, buying you as then? Yeah. And that's my box, whatever that is. But anyway, right, let's just start putting together no more waffling. Yeah. All right, so as you can see in our clip, Rowan knows what he's talking about. I'm extremely grateful him because I could never have done this if it wasn't for him. I would have had to pay a fortune to get this set up. So Rowan, you're watching this, I know. Thank you very much. I greatly appreciate it. I'm going to put links below to Rowan's channel. he got a gaming channel and he's got his car channel. Right, so moving on to what have we got? Well, the steering wheel, let me show you the box, is the Thrustmaster T300 RS and it's the GT edition. So the difference for us, it comes with the three set of pedals, T3 PAs, I think they are. It's got the clutch pedal, slightly better than the standard RS version. So obviously the PCs down there, keyboard, blah, 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 blah. Monitor I'm using is a Samsung 32 inch curved. Quite like that monitor, it's a good size actually for just using by you. But, as I say, things are not staying like this. Um, for one thing, I cannot drive in that chair. It is horrible. I use, uh, I got this camping chair by you, which is what I, what I actually drive in and move this out of the way. But, you will notice that I've got the old Fiesta seat there. Now that's going to go on a cockpit that I'm going to have because, although I'm not going to be super anal about it, I do want it to be a little bit better than what I've got now. Now, I'm not completely new to playing computer games. A good few years back, I was into Forza Motorsport on the Xbox. Not the Forza Ryzen. I do like the circuit racing. So I used to play Forza Motorsport. 
um, until kind of they ruined it. But I had a Fanatec GT2 steering wheel with the Club Sport pedals. I'll probably overlay a picture now. This is going back a good few years ago. And it was the whole reason why I actually ren renovated my old hat attic. Well, sorry, I had a space to play. A little bit of a playroom, really. So this, this attic's been abandoned for about six years, maybe. So it's been a monumental task to to clear out to make space to get his computer set up. Um, I've still got some parts I've got to go on yet. Nankang AR1, so they're going on the car. I've got a set of Team Dynamics 15 inch as well, I in the cupboard there. But you don't need to see them because that's not what the video is about. But anyway, back to this. I've ordered a GT Amiga art cockpit, minus a seat, because that's going on there now. I think I may make a video, not putting the cockpit together, because that's been done, it's quite basic, but how to fit a standard car seat onto a cockpit. That might interest some of you. I'd like to perhaps in future include some games of me doing a little bit of racing and stuff, so we'll see how that goes. If you're interested in joining me and Rowan for a race, because Rowan's one of the big reasons I got back into this, we at the moment we're playing Project Cars 2. We have got a set of Corsa um, race room just done the, the down the downloads on that. Um, but we're playing Project Cars 2 at the moment. So if you want to come and join us for a race, um, I'm on the same username, Sparkplug Steve. So yeah, if you want to come on, if you see me online, jump in for a race. Um, so yeah, I think that is pretty much it. I think I have covered um, everything we got going on here. So that's why I've been away. That's why you want to see me for a little while. But normal car videos will resume soon. I will be getting back to it. But like I say, this has been a little bit of a distraction. There's only so many hours in a day, only so much time I've got for RB. So the cars had to go on old and everything. Well, I've been having a little bit of fun on this. So anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed this little update. I'm going to see you on the next video. Thanks for watching and bye.